I am Diana Lenska. And I am Michael Leo Sentai. And this is Indie View, where you, the filmmaker, and your film are the star. Now today we have two shorts, two very different types of shorts that we will be rating and reviewing. The first one is from a Lanceville, Pennsylvania filmmaker. This is his first, um, well not his first, he, his first project was Roller Coaster, which was a, a film that received 28 film festival awards. Wow. And this film that we're going to be reviewing, filling in, is sort of like a sequel to his first project. He's both director and writer of this comedy fantasy. So we will show you the trailer now of Filling In. Hey, Damien, what's going on? The job hunt is an odd creature. Hey, listen, I can't be talking on the phone too much, okay? It's I'm like right in front of like 12 people trying to get a job here. Sometimes you get the job. Yeah, none of them are gonna get hired. And sometimes, you don't. What you got there, kid? Whiskey. You sure you're up for this? Everything we do here is about generating revenue. This is a multi-billion dollar industry. This is high risk stuff. I thought it over. The money's too good. Like you said, we do this right. No one gets hurt, right? We do this right, and she'll never know what happened. <sighs> Set. Two-story greenhouse on the left. Get in, get out. So remind me again why you think you're a good fit for this. I'm sneaky? What was that? Nothing. Okay. Um, Michael, this was a comedy fantasy and I always love when we get something with a comedic yes, touch to me it. Too. And um, without giving too much away, we want to give a little bit of the story, but without giving too much away to the audience, but enough to get them interested and wanting to see this film, what was your first impression to the beginning? I want to see what you thought as compared to what I first thought when we I, first thought it was. I it definitely was. didn't think it was going to end up the way that it did. I thought it was going to be maybe a buddy comedy, a couple of guys mm -hmm. maybe, you know, they're... Having a hard, the one guy's having a hard time finding a job, which we've all kind of been there before. You mm -hmm. think you're gonna, you know, land this job? You're, you did great on your interview, and then you don't get it. So I thought, oh, it's gonna be making, you know, light of that type of thing. So when it got into more of like the tooth fairy kind of thing, mm -hmm. I was just totally surprised by that. But it was really enjoyable the way that they did that. But another thing which was interesting. With the opening scene, would you even have thought this was going to go in the direction of a comedy or fantasy? No, I wouldn't have thought that. It's so serious in the beginning, yes. and with what they're talking about, you're thinking, is this going to be a kidnapping? Is this right. going to be a murder? It is very serious at first. And even when it takes the comedic element with the tooth fairy, you're still thinking, is this being used as a setup for yes. still doing something horrible? Right. And this is keep. Being, being played back and forth with a lot of twists and turns, yes. very clever. Yes. Uh, you know, the actors are excellent in their roles. Um, now this film is by um, Bradley Hawkins, and as I said, um, he is a, a filmmaker who set up his own production company uh, out of Pennsylvania. And uh, this project will be screened at the Chautauqua International Film Festival. It is one of those type of short films where Everything is right on. The acting, cinematography, music, and I love that when we get films submitted where we can sit here and really give praise where we're not yes. having to come out and criticize anything right. in a major way. And I'm always worried about that sometimes we're going to have that happen. Yeah. Sometimes we're going to yeah. have a film here where we're going to have to be critical, yeah. and you don't want to do that. Right, or that you have to really try to dig hard to find what? something good to say about it. That's not the case with this one no. at all. No. Filling In is a superb, must-see short yes. film. Again, going to be screened at the Chautauqua International Film Festival. Um, I gave uh, this film a 9 rating. Okay. I gave it an uh, 8.7. 8.7. We're always pretty close, yeah, with, pretty our, close. Uh, with our ratings. And um, so now we're going to go to our second film, which is a completely different change of pace. 
this is a nearly 18 minute film. Uh, writer producer Edward King submitted this to the Chautauqua International Film Festival. And uh, we will show you the a teaser trailer for Caged. 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 Yes. Here is the teaser trailer. I don't know who he loves more, me or you. <laughs> Overheard Chris and Mike talking. Are you sure that's exactly what you heard? Because you know your hearing ain't the best. No. How does it look? Good. Yeah, we're getting closer. Yeah? Mm hmm Looks great. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I would really appreciate it. No promises, but I'll try. Try what? Nothing. It's personal. And you can't tell me? Please. I'm the only one who can keep a secret. <laughs> oh, y'all are tired. <laughs> I'm taking the bottle. Now, I will bring up the premise of what this film is because there's so many little clever twists to this and such a shocker of an ending. Yes. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt where the film is leading to. No. But this is uh, almost like Hollywood-grade quality film. Uh, actually, the director is Massimo Bordenaro, if I'm saying his name correctly. He directed m many major uh, TV shows and movies, including the sci-fi channel show. Sharknado number four. Oh yeah, those are fun. It's a fun movie. And this film has a great twist to the end book. The premise is, here's a group of people getting together, and it starts with just like an ordinary group of people going to be uh, celebrating um, one of the main characters, getting a promotion at his job. There is a gay theme to it, but it is so well done. And again, I usually don't like to promote hit over your head Christian films, sure. hit over your head gay films. But right. when it's done as part of a premise of a whole story. Right. It just happens to be part of the story. Yes, and the concept and the characters. And this takes you in a completely different direction from where the film leads you to believe. Right. And what else now? No, what were your feelings on the actors, the premise that was... Uh, um, the concept of this film. Well, I would definitely say that the actors were very believable, mm -hmm. the way they portrayed the characters and they conveyed the story. So that was well done. Cinematography was great. Brilliant. Very, yes. very well worked with what was going on with the story. Um, and I really liked how the story presented that they were happily married for six years, mm -hmm. which you know, marriages aren't always happy, and, and but a lot of times in films or in everyday life, it's portrayed that, oh, somebody's been married for a long time, so they must be very happy. Mm -hmm. And that's not always the case. So mm -hmm. I liked that this film explored that mm -hmm. and the way that they did that. Yes. yes. And um, as you're introduced to the uh, the couples, I remember correctly, I think there was three, four key couples that are part so. of this um, uh, film. And the title, Cage, gives you some idea of the, of the premise, but there's more to the story than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. And this uh, film, I gave it a, a rating of 9.4, and it is going to be screened at the Chautauqua International Film Festival. And your rating, Michael? I gave it a 9. Okay. Just a 9, but I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I did. It was well done. Very well done. Yes. Excellent in every respect. So, um... Again, before we uh, end this segment of Indie View, uh, I want to let the audience know this is our second month of the Indie View show, and we will be following this format right up until the Chautauqua International Film Festival. It will be going through some changes in the fall where we are going to start working with uh, reviewing one film and interviewing the producer, director, writer uh, of the production so that when this gets listed on IMDb, now you get an IMDb credit with IndieView. If you're a filmmaker and, you're, uh, and you already are, are on IMDb, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you're a filmmaker who hasn't yet uh, put any of their work on IMDb, uh, this will be a great start for you because it will create a film page for you. It will create a page for uh, yourself. and when you're ready to go pro or as you're adding a uh, project to your portfolio you can then just go in and connect it to uh, our IMDB page which will have 
uh, a page created for each of the films that we are reviewing, and that is our next stage, which will be coming in the fall. So there will be a film page and an actor's page created if your project is not already on IMDb. So I wanted to make uh, the filmmakers out there aware of that. And again, please contact us with any comments, any um, ideas for the show, and you can send it to IndieViewTV at gmail.com. Again, this is Diana Lenska. And I'm Michael Leo Suntai. For IndieView. Take care.